and the governor's new order comes as medical experts continue to examine the spike in coronavirus cases across the coastal bend. Nueces County reporting 212 new cases today so far. So take a look at these graphs here showing the current trend of COVID-19 infections according to research done by the City County Public Health District. The first one showing the trend of total active cases as you can see. As New Oasis County hits the triple digits of active cases, our hospitalization rate is triple what it was just a few months ago. And yesterday there was a reported 41 people in the hospital suffering from COVID-19. We want to bring in Dr. Chris Bird. He joins us live tonight to help break down some of these graphs and the numbers that we're seeing to explain with more. Dr. Bird. Hi, Leslie. Hi there. Yeah, so you obviously you and your team going over multiple graphs and so many numbers at these press conferences. What were the biggest findings that you saw today and this week? I think the, the most alarming thing is the uh, excellent fit of our number of cases to an exponential uh, an exponential model, which uh, indicates that we expect another uh, 10 days here of exponential increase before the um, interventions that we're, we're taking right now start to affect the, the, the new cases. And at this point, we're climbing to such a high number of cases that um, we have to tremendously decrease the amount of transmissions in order just to stay even at the, uh, at the present rate that we're accumulating cases, and it'll take even more effort to, to uh, make that decline. You know, and you had been warning um, about a third wave for quite some time, and then here we are with the numbers just increasing at the rate that they are. And you know, between the counties in our area implementing mask orders and the updates coming out of the governor's office this week that you just mentioned, do you foresee that we'll see a big change in our daily COVID-19 cases soon, or is it gonna take a while to see that trend go back down? Well, it, it takes about five days between when you get infected and when you become symptomatic, and then it might be a few more days before you actually get tested and get that result. So we expect from today, it might take up to two weeks before we see a change in the, uh, in, in, in the accumulation of cases. So there, there, there is a delay, and the cases that we're seeing today, those are people that got infected last week, early last week. Okay, well, Dr. Bird, thank you so much. I understand we're gonna be talking with you once again later on tonight at six. So thank you so much for joining us live. We'll see you at six.